Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So now I'm starting the next problem. Problem number 10 on incomplete records. Already nine problems, nine main problems I have completed and so many short problems and MCQs I have done in the last videos. So don't join in between, you may not be able to understand. So my suggestion to all of you, watch from the beginning. First you watch the very first video on theory on this topic of incomplete records. Then you watch the all short questions, MCQs, then you come to the main problems. So if you have not watched, please watch the first videos and then come here. Before starting the 10th, 10th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So always keep a copy ready before watching. Take a screenshot of the notes which I have written on the board then I will explain all the points of problem number 10. Come on, now I'm starting 10th st uh, problem. <clears throat> Sevket Christakos has been in business for some years, but has never maintained a full set of accounting record. This uh, sole trader, Sevket, started the business last some few years, but still not kept the complete accounting. That means incomplete records. However, the following information is available for the most recently completed financial year, which ended on 28th Feb 2018. The year ends on 28th Feb 2018. Assets and liability on 1st March 2017. 1st March 2017 is the beginning of the period. And 28th Feb 2018 is the end of the year. Now, the data on 1st March 2017, beginning of the year, 8% bank loan 2020, bank overdraft, trade payable, trade receivable, electricity outstanding, petty cash, shop fitting, valuation and inventory. These are all the items given on beginning of the year, 1st March 2017. EBIT calculates Sevket's capital on 1st March 2017. So we are required to find out how much is the capital of the sole trader subget on 1st of March 2017. So we already know capital means the assets minus liabilities. Take the total of assets minus total of liabilities, we will get the capital. So here in this table I am finding out the capital. Calculation of capital on 1st March. Details, dollar, assets. Now you have to identify which are the assets and which are the liability. One by one we'll see. 8% bank loan. When a business takes a loan, it's a liability. Bank loan taken is a liability. So here in the liabilities are taken 8% bank loan 2020 5000. Second item is bank or draft. Bank or draft is a temporary loan from bank. So again it is a liability. Whether it is a bank loan or bank or draft, both are liabilities. Second, next one, trade payable. Trade payable is the amount due to suppliers. It is a liability. So trade payable, 3,200. Next, trade receivable. Trade receivable is the amount due from customers. That's an asset. So trade receivable is an asset, 2,000. Next comes electricity outstanding. That means it is the expenses owing by the business to electricity department. It's a liability. Electricity outstanding means the amount due to electricity department. So electricity outstanding is a liability. <clears throat> Next comes petty cash. Petty cash means cash on hand. It's an asset. So petty cash are taken in asset side. Next comes shop fittings. It's an asset, non-current asset. Shop fitting. So asset side shop fitting 20,000. Last one inventory. Inventory is the stock of goods which are unsold. It's an asset. It's inventory. So whatever items are given in the problem, the, all the items I have marshaled into assets and liability. That is the only thing you have to remember. What are the assets and what are the liabilities? Take the total of the assets A. 
denote it as A. 25,000 is the total of assets. Now total of liabilities, take the total B, denote it as B, 15,000. So 25,000 are the total of assets, 15,000 is the total of liability. Assets minus liability is equal to capital. So 25,000 minus 15,000, 10,000 is the capital. First bit completed, A bit over. Now B bit. His records also reveal that during the year ending 28 Feb 2018, credit customers had paid $45,000 by check. Cash taking banks banked total 53,200. What do you mean? Cash taking banked dollar 53,200. It means the cash sales. The business has sold the goods for cash and immediately that cash is deposited in the bank. That is called cash bank. Now, Sevket had taken dollar 21,000 from the till for his own use drawings so during the year the owner has taken some money for personal use that is called drawings 21,000 the amount owed by credit customer had increased by 50 percent that means the trade receivable beginning of the year trade receivable was how much 2000 at the beginning of the year trade receivable 2000 and it is saying that at the end of the year trade receivable had increased by 50%. So 50% of 2000 is 1000. Add up 1000, 2000 plus 1000, 3000 will be the closing trade receivable. So what it is saying is the amount due from customers had increased by 50%. So whatever it was there at the beginning of the year to that we add 50%. So here 2000 plus 50 percent means 3000 will be at the end of the year. Now B question. Calculate the total sales for the year ended 28th Feb 2018. Second question is asking you to find out the total sales. So here you can see calculation of total sales. For calculating total sales we can make trade receivables ledger control account. Already in the so many problems we have prepared. Hope you are perfect. Now trade receivable ledger control account debit side will take the opening balance of trade receivable. How much is the trade receivable opening balance? 2000. So balance brought down opening 2000. Similarly closing. It is given the problem that at the end of the year trade receivables had increased by 50%. Opening balance are taken here debit side. So credit side balance carried down closing balance. 2000 plus 50%. 50% of 2000 is 1000. So add up 1000, 2000 plus 1000 is 3000. This 2000 opening, 3000 closing. Now, how much cash is received from credit customers? It is given credit customer had paid 45,000 by check. That means the business has received checks from the credit customer. The entry will be bank account debit. Trade receivable credit. Always I told you every time, keep a notebook beside you while watching the video. Because whenever I say something, you should immediately note it down. Then only you can be able to remember. Otherwise, you'll forget it. So, cash received from credit customer. Actually, check received. When we receive the check, bank account debit. Trade receivable credit. The trade receivable account credit side. This trade receivable account, credit side, cash book, bank, 45,000, right? That's all. We got all the values. Opening balance is given in the problem, 2,000. Closing balance, it is saying 50% increased, so 3,000. Check received from credit customers. So here, 45,000 over all the items we have taken. Now take the total on the credit side, 45 plus 3, 48,000. From 48,000 minus 2,000, you will get 46,000. So what is this 46,000 credit sales balancing figure? This credit sales are not given in the problem. We have prepared the account to find out credit sales. Right? But there are different two types of sales, cash sales as well as credit sales. So now we are calculating total sales. Cash sales are given in the problem 53,200. It is given. 
cash taking banked total 53,200. That means goods are sold for cash and that cash is deposited in the bank. Cash sales 53,200. Credit sales 46,000 just now we got. And apart from that drawings, when the owner has withdrawn, we can take it on the clear, we can take it along with sales. So here cash drawings 21,000. So total of the sales are 1,20,200 is the total sales. Second bit complete. Now third bit it is asking you, calculate the total purchases for the year ended 28th Feb 2018 and examination of the business bank account. Achha, here, during the period, during the year ending 28th Feb 2018, Sevket paid his supplier 42,700 by check. Sevket is the owner of the business. He has paid to the credit suppliers. How much they have paid? 42,700 by check. And had received a cash discount of 2,300 cash discount receipt. The amount owed to credit supplier on 28th Feb 2018 had decreased by 20%. Here in trade receivable, it is given that 50% there is increase. But in this uh, trade payable, it is given that 20% decreased whatever we have in the beginning then calculate the total purchases for the year ended 28th Feb 2018 finally we have to find out the purchases the trade receivable account is prepared to find out the sales trade payable account is prepared to find out the purchases right so trade payables ledger controlled account debit side credit side first of all opening balance we have to take it on the credit side how much is the trade payable at the beginning of the year 3200 3200 is the opening balance so here i have taken 3200 opening balance balance brought down opening receivable will show debit balance payable will show credit balance now closing balance 20 percent decreased so balance carried down closing 2560 how we got this 2560 it is given that 20 percent decreased so how much was at the beginning 3200 3200 minus 20%. That means first you calculate 20%. 3200 into 20 by 100. 3200 into 20 by 100. You will get 680. You are going to get 640. Sorry, it's not 680, 640. You will get 640. So deduct 3200 minus 640, you will get 2560. This is the closing balance. Here carried down, so opposite side here brought down. That's it. Now it is given that checks issued to credit supplier. How much checks have been paid? 42,700 checks were issued to supplier. When we issue the check to supplier, right now the entry is trade payable debit, bank credit. Trade payable debit, bank credit. When we deposit the money in the bank, bank will be debited. When we issue a check, bank should be credited. So trade payable debit, bank credit. So here trade payable debit side. Cash book, bank. How much is check is issued? 40 to 700 checks are issued. Now discount received. Discount received is an income. And incomes will be credited. So discount received account will be created. So debit should be given to trade payable. So entry will be trade payable debit, discount received credit. Trade payable is debited. So debit side, this is the debit side. Debit side, discount received. Discount received 2300 over. All the items we have taken. Simply we have to find out the purchases. Debit side, if you take the total, it is coming 47,560. Debit side, it is more. 47,560. From 47,560, deduct 3,200. Only one item is there on the credit side. 3,200, you deduct. The balance is purchases. The so balancing figure purchase are 44,360. So 44,360 is the credit purchases. <coughs> So we have calculated credit sales, we have calculated credit purchases. Finally, it is given uh, an examination of the business bank account showed the following item of expenditure had been paid by check. 
so when the bank account is analyzed bank statement is analyzed so what are the payments made from bank wages paid 15000 electricity paid 1650 rent rates paid 4000 and on 28th feb 2018 end of the year closing inventory was 1860 sapkar decided not to depreciate his shop fitting actually shop fitting is a non current asset normally depreciation will be there in non current asset but here it is given sapkar does not want to provide depreciation on non current asset now Sefke, a payment of 400 dollars for electricity used during the year was outstanding so electricity was used but payment was not made the so outstanding amount end of the year 400 the so outstanding amount end of the year will be added and outstanding amount beginning of the year will be deducted how much electricity outstanding at the beginning of the year 300 this 300 were outstanding for the last year and current year outstanding is 400 so what you have to do is electricity Payment made is 1650 in the bank. From the bank, electricity paid 1650. But 1650 we have to adjust for outstanding. Current year outstanding will be added. Last year outstanding will be deducted. So current year outstanding is 400. Add up. Last year outstanding is 300. Deduct. So 1650 plus 400 minus 300, 1750. Next one is. Uh, a loan interest at 8% per annum had not been paid. There is a loan. Here you can see bank loan. Percentage is 8%. On what amount? Loan amount 5000. This SEFCAT has taken a loan from bank of 5000. On which interest has to be paid to bank 8%. 8% 8 means 8 by 100. So 5000 into 8 by 100. You will get 400. Yes, 400. That 400 interest is outstanding, not paid, but it is the expenditure of the year. That's why we should take it here, interest on loan, 5000 into 8 by 100, 400. This is the expenditure of the year, but not paid. Now, next, prepare an income statement for the year ended 28 Feb 2018. Finally, it is asking you to make the income statement. This is the income statement. Income statement for the year ended 28th Feb 2018. Revenue. Revenue means sales. How much total sales we have calculated? Here you can see total sales 1,20,200. Same 1,20,200. From sales, sales revenue, we deduct cost of sales. And remember, cost of sales means opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory. So opening inventory, here we have, you can see here, inventory 2500, this is the opening, beginning of the year. So 2500 opening inventory. To this we add the purchases, purchases we have calculated here. How much are the purchases? 44,360 are the purchases. So 44,360 purchase, add up both, less closing inventory. Closing inventory is given in the last paragraph, last line of the problem, it is given closing inventory. That is 1860. Deduct 1860 minus. This is minus. You will get 45,000. So 45,000 is the cost of sales. Deduct cost of sales. 1,20,200 minus 45,000. 75,200 is the gross profit. So what is gross profit? Sales revenue minus cost of sales. And how to get cost of sales? Opening inventory plus purchases minus closing inventory. Now to this gross profit we add other incomes. Here in our problem other income is only one that is discount received. Discount received will come into other income and this other income should be added to gross profit. So here you can see discount received 2300 this is the other income this will be added to gross profit. So 77,500 is the total profit. From that we deduct the expenses. Now expenses are given wages 15,000, no adjustment, nothing. Wages paid 15,000, I have taken. Electricity 1650 is paid. 1650 is paid, given in the problem. And end of the problem it is saying 400 rupees are outstanding at the end of the year. 
तो दिस 400 विल बी एडेड बिकॉज़ इट इज करंट इयर्स इलेक्ट्रिसिटी बिल अमाउंट तो वी ऐड 400 सिमिलरली एट द बिगिनिंग ऑफ द ईयर देयर वर आउटस्टैंडिंग फॉर इलेक्ट्रिसिटी 300 दिस इज फॉर द लास्ट ईयर दिस आउटस्टैंडिंग 300 इज द लास्ट ईयर व्हिच वाज नॉट पेड नाउ वी आर पेइंग तो डिडक्टेड बिकॉज़ वी हैव टू टेक ओनली करंट इयर्स चार्जेस we are following accrual principle according to accrual principle only current year income current year expenditure should be taken if any expenditure relating to last year it should be deducted so 300 rupees deducted 1750 rent and rates no adjustment directly 4000 last one interest on loan last line of the problem it is given that interest on loan has not been paid so we have to calculate how much is the interest on loan 5000 rupees loan 8% is the interest 5000 into 8 by 100 400 rupees is the interest on loan take the total of the expenses it comes to 21150 is the total of expenses deduct total expenses from the profit profit is 7700 7700 minus 21150 56350 is the profit for the year that's all in this problem four things we have prepared first it is asking you to calculate the capital at the beginning of the year secondly it is asking you to calculate the total sales thirdly it is asking you to calculate total purchases and lastly it is asking you to calculate the profit for the year by preparing income statement hope you understood my explanation so this is the end of problem number 10th inshallah will continue the 11th problem in the next video